Hello, and welcome to the Tucker and Crowley Report. Franklin Tucker, senior editor of the Belmontonian, is with me, and I'm Mike Crowley. So first up in the news, uh, Franklin, I understand that the select board has its first woman chair in 20 years. That's right, Elizabeth Dion um, uh, ascended to the uh, post. Um, it's, it was preordained. I mean, you know, if you're a member of the select board, you rotate into these positions. That's right. But uh, it is the first time since uh, Anne-Marie Mahoney was the uh, chair uh, back in uh, 2004. Um, and before her, it was Anne uh, Werner, mm -hmm. uh, our first uh, fe uh, female um, um, select board member or board of selectmen at the time. Um, and uh, she's um, already making news. <laughs> so, so tell us about that, Frank. Well, you know, uh, Elizabeth is somebody who um, you don't have to ask twice about her opinion. She'll tell you. And uh, she's uh, um, uh, she is uh, pretty forceful. She has very, very frank assessments of, of people and uh, how people are doing their uh, jobs, let's mm -hmm. say. Uh, but, you know, she's not doing it out of um, uh, out of real uh, meanness or anything like that she's just she knows that belmont has to change and the change has to be strategic and it has to be really looking forward to um you know a uh, a new vision for belmont in terms of uh trying to get commercial real estate and so she's not going to sugarcoat her opinion about things you know she she believes that has to be done has to be done quickly or we're going to lose the opportunity to basically go to the uh, the, the residents in four or five years and ask for another large uh, override. You know, she, she said, and she's you know been very um, you know forthright about this. We have to show the people that we're doing something different, and we can't just do it as we did in the past. And that is just say we're going to do something. We're going to do something. I think, so, and 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 you can see by the first meeting. This our first meeting was Monday on the uh, on the eighth. Uh, on the I believe it was the eighth or the seventh, uh, um, and um, you know she um, uh, she now makes uh, she now helps make appointments, but she's now because she's a chair, she leads that process of uh, for commissions and boards and, and things like that. Other than the uh, town moderator who does certain boards, and and one of the first actions, Franklin. Uh, uh, involved the conservation committee. That's right. Um, you know, there, uh, one of the people who were up for um, for reappointment was the chair, and that was Jim Roth. And Jim mm -hmm. Roth is somebody who's been uh, very in tune to conservation um, uh, issues, uh, has a very strong opinion, um, has led a, a group um, that uh, basically will hold, hold people's feet to the fire. Mm -hmm. And, um, well, Elizabeth said, you know, Thank you for your service, but you know we're going to move on into a different um, uh, a different way, and um, and uh, I think she made it pretty clear that you know she maybe saw him as, as she saw Mr. Roth being a little too forceful in his uh, opposition, you know, not really asking, you know, not being cooperative with you know the people who are coming in, uh, who are coming in before the the commission. Uh, and um, she replaced uh, this person who has many, many years with a uh, with a twenty year old <laughs> Angus, now, Abercrom that? Angus Abercrombie. You know, he's now part of the conservation commission, and um, I think she wants to have somebody with a new view. You know, people. You know, and and um, uh, Angus has somebody is somebody who has actually been uh, during his. Uh, it's a strange to say his youth, mm -hmm. <laughs> being twenty. Um, uh, who has been uh, active about environmental issues. Uh, but he's also somebody who's uh, been practical about uh, growth. You know, he was the person who brought um, the, uh, um, uh, he, he's brought a number of uh, things to, to the board. And, and, uh, Involving parking, parking and restaurants. And restaurants, but also the, um, the uh, making the assessors uh, a, uh, oh, that's right. a, a independent mm -hmm. a, a board under the control of the town. And now we can go to the next. All right, the next story, <laughs> which, so, which leads right into so, this. So effectively, Franklin, with two recent personnel changes, we we have uh, we you know the stage is set for an entirely new board of assessors. Why don't you tell us about yes, that? Yes, I think there's uh, especially among social media, <laughs> uh, 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 PJ Mooney and his little uh, uh, little um, uh, I don't know what you would call them little. Uh, 
the townies. Yeah, the townies, um, which is an online kind of uh, uh, opinion piece, um, I, and also I think I think other uh, news outlets are are trying to make this into um, uh, a bigger deal than it really is. Um, you know the. The uh, two people who uh, left. And, and this is Robert Reardon, um, who, who is the very long time uh, uh, chair of the uh, board of assessors. And he he had a term that um, that um, legal lawfully was um, you know extended until mm -hmm. twenty six. He stepped down on June twenty eighth, and and, and he was he Laverty. was he was quickly followed by Chuck Laverty, whose term uh, uh, went till um, April of twenty twenty five. So so Franklin. T tell us what you know about um, you know the significance of these departures. Truthfully, the significance is that uh, it moves forward uh, the, uh, the I won't say takeover, but the change in in, in how the board of uh, board of assessors um, uh, is are ma is managed. This is no longer an independent board. Mm -hmm. This is now uh, within the town because we it, uh, every member now going forward as a board of assessors is going to be appointed. And, um, you know, when this was brought up um, at uh, the uh, Board of Selectmen's, uh, both uh, Patrice Garvin and Elizabeth Dion said, this is a great opportunity. Now, uh, because as Elizabeth said, she will in two weeks uh, be presenting two people um, to uh, be who to take over those roles. And, you know, it, it really does, it, it, in, in many ways, it, for the, just for the average person, um, you know, average homeowner, uh, the Board of Assessors won't change. I mean, we have a great, uh, great staff and, and they do a, a fabulous job, um, but we're going to see changes in there. We're going to see a, a change in software, uh, how, how things are, are calculated and it'll be easier then to, uh, to uh, uh, take information in Belmont and, and do it through the state. And so, so the assessors were working with a fairly antiquated system. Oh, very, very, mu very much so. And uh, so now there's going to be new software. And it's also going to be, you're going to have um, uh, two new people and you already have um, a, a, a person who's already in the, in the position, an independent uh, person in the position. Um, and uh, they are going to be much more, um, uh, they're going to have a, a, a greater feel for what the town is looking for in terms of, uh, you know. Um, and and uh, let, let me ask about that, Franklin. Um, is, is part of the charge for uh, whoever the new appointees would be to, to do something about senior tax relief? Because hasn't, is, hasn't this been a, a, a sort of a, a longstanding point of, of Contention, I, contention <laughs> yes. between the select board and the, the board of assessors that not enough was being done. In fact, not much of anything was being done. That's that's right. And, and, and what this does is that, uh, you know, um, uh, uh, the town can now say this is a priority. Well, let's get this done. And uh, the board of assessors being appointed and they they, they know their charge, you know, uh, while they are independent in, in many ways, but they're still going to be part of, you know, they're going to have the, the control is going to be from the town. So if the town says, hey, we're going to make this priority, let's get this done, then it's going to get done. All right. Um, let's talk about, um, you know, changes on um, another important committee. So the, the Community Preservation Committee, um, um, why don't you tell us about some of the changes that we that we uh, are seeing taking place there? Well the, well, the very big change is that we have a new chair, uh, Elizabeth Dion, who was the uh, who is a, the select board member, uh, had had kept the, the uh, position um, until she became uh, the chair of the of the uh, select board. Uh, now uh, the commission, um, not the commission, the committee. The committee. Uh, is is being run by Aaron Pingalingus, who is a well-known person in town meeting. Uh, uh, as uh, he's also been a member of the capital. That's um, right. The, the, I'm I'm blanking on the the, 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 new, the new, new name, name for the, the capital the, for the old capital committee, yeah, capital budget committee. Right. Uh, so uh, that's that's correct, and that that's a great person to have because you're talking about um, uh, a lot of. Um, you know, the, the, you can use uh, CPC money for for capital um, for, uh, uh, projects, uh, and that's always a great th a great thing to have. Um, I think also um, he's taking a very pragmatic view of, of his position, also because 
uh, already they're talking about. There's already, um, uh, I believe, a uh, uh, there's going to be a request mm -hmm. from the town to um, for early for an early um, um, what, what, off cycle. It's called an off cycle. Uh, um, uh, Amendment. Basically, an, an off-cycle um, 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 amendment um, that would um, make available some some uh, uh, CPC money for uh, a, a project, mm -hmm. uh, and, and and it will have to come between it would have to come before town meeting. So it would Pro come probably in November. It, it would come in November, um, and what this would be would be uh, what is being called West of Harris Field. And, okay. Uh, right now. Uh, the, what, what we have heard, and that we've heard in, in several meetings and on um, uh, several committees, is that uh, there are designs for that pro pro project, uh, and it's going to include uh, tennis courts, you know, bringing tennis courts back to the uh, campus, mm -hmm. um, uh, and uh, uh, a smaller field, you know, track and field uh, um, sites, uh, and. Uh, and what what Pingle, uh, what what uh, Aaron, Aaron Picklingus, what Aaron has been saying is that you know this should not be just a uh, uh, something that um, they're just going to rubber stamp. She wants to see a, a, um, this project, you know, be presented. You know, and, you know, to, uh, why is this even needed? You know, why do you have to have this off cycle? So yeah, you know, I think he's seeing his he's, he's taking his his duties pretty hard, you know, pretty serious. You know, and so he's not going to just you know, just be a um, somebody who's going like, to, like I said, rubber stamp uh, some project that the town wants. You know? And you know, I, I think this is something that we had seen shifting under Elizabeth Dion, who uh, um, years ago, when she first was um, um, both appointed to the um, Community Preservation Committee, as well as the Warrant Committee, she used to speak at length in the Warrant Committee about um, the deficiencies in the process um, run by the Community Preservation Committee that it basically just rubber rubber stamped, you know, first in, first out applications for funding. If if they met the criteria, they they were funded. And I think I think a little of that was also that you know, there, there was some personal uh, animosity between people uh, on 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 the, on the committee, and um, you know, and, and I think there was a a little bit of, um, you know, and I, I'm wondering if 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 that was um, also uh, something that um, maybe was played up too much. You know, I think you know, I think some, you know, most of those projects were were, were going to be vetted, especially the projects were, that come before annual town meeting. Right. Those are vetted for like six months. So mm -hmm. Just you know, they they go through it with a fine, uh, you know, with a fine comb and. Uh, so I don't think it was anything, um, you know, uh, it, 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 I think a lot of it that had to do with a lot of smoke than uh, echo fire. All right. Okay, so um, why don't we talk about uh, the town has, um, the, the, the town has lost a number of IT personnel, uh, you know, leaving us in a bit of a, a pickle, so to speak, <laughs> when it comes to um, handling IT issues, but, um, we have recently uh, recruited a new IT chief. Why don't, why don't you tell us about uh, yeah. Christopher McClure? Chris McClure um, only has to, uh, um, well, he his job is basically um, <clears throat> going to be as the director of IT. Mm -hmm. He is going to be in charge of basically re uh, just revamping the whole uh, department. Mm -hmm. um, he's very well known and he's known to people in Belmont because he works in Watertown. <laughs> this is, um, as uh, as one person said, it was a great poach by uh, Elizabeth, Gar by uh, uh, Patrice Garvin, our town administrator, to find somebody so close and who is willing to, to take the job during the summer. You know, he's going to be coming in in August. And um, he's got a charge that says, you know, you're not just here to make sure the Wi-Fi is, 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 is up and running. You're going to be here to really re, um, uh, make this into a complete IT department in terms of, uh, um, you know, one thing that has been happening to IT departments throughout, throughout the country, throughout the world, is that cybercrime is, is, is rampant, uh, especially among any kind of uh, um, community that has uh, information mm -hmm. that can be, you know, um, as they say, ransomed. 
you know, it's when uh, a criminal gang, and they're usually from, you know, Russia or Siberia, uh, Serbia and, uh, and Indonesia, you know, there is, um, they will uh, basically uh, shut down your IT and, 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 and basically ask you for a lot of money. So many would argue that we have been ill-prepared for potential um, I think that's well uh, cy cyber crime. And um, um, we would expect that the new IT director, Chris McClure, um, would be well suited to address that. That's right. And he's somebody who's been in uh, for the last uh, 25 years. He's been uh, working in or more likely uh, he was uh, running IT departments in, in some in some smaller uh, communities, but he has the uh, knowledge to of um, how to how to establish a, a well-run ID department. He's he's very well liked uh, by the uh, people who uh, work with him. All right, maybe we'll also see the return of hybrid town meeting. Mm, maybe, All unfortunately. Right. Okay, so um, um, next up. Um, um, Purple Heart Day. What can you tell us, Frank? Yes, it's going to be. Uh, we, we've um, uh, the town has uh, celebrated uh, Purple Heart Day uh, um, annually. Annually for the last, I would say, decade. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, uh, this year, it's 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 expanding. You know, we usually have a ceremony. Uh, it was either at the library, and now, now where it's going to be. Um, at the Veterans um, Memorial, uh, but also that day, the rec uh, the Recreation uh, Department is going to uh, open uh, the Underwood Pool to uh, active uh, service members and their families, and to have a free day in the pool. Oh, and right. So it's going to be August seventh, and uh, and if you know any active, and this is going to be for active. Uh, well, there's going to be a certain number. Um, uh, there's going to be a limit, I believe. And uh, but uh, if you're active duty and veterans, I don't believe veterans. I believe it's just active duty. Okay. And uh, people who are in the reserves. Okay. You know, and uh, come down to the pool and have a nice day there. All right, Franklin. As always, you can find more of Franklin's reporting at Belmontonian.com. That's all for this time, and we hope to see you next time. And we'll see you then.